Well, it happened. Mezu threw in the towel. And the towel it goes. Mezu is done. I guess for now. We'll see. I don't know. Because yesterday they released the letter that said, like, hey, Mike's like, we're done. Mezu is throwing in the towel and, you know, we're officially gone. I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> so, they're done. It is what it is, uh, but today I guess they put down the letter, take down the letter, and then they re-brought up some of their social media. Not quite sure what's going on with that. Maybe there's some legal stuff going on. Maybe they're like, oh, why'd you do that? Put it back up. You know, you're scaring people. I, I have no idea what's going to happen. I don't know. But just know that the, the company is probably going bankrupt, um, like everyone's talking about. Um... You know, not be able to pay their players, not able to fulfill uh, shipment orders. Is, it's probably just, you know, a sign that, like, yeah, the company's probably done. Um, another, I guess, another way to, another thing to, I guess, recognize why we, why probably the company was going down is because throughout the couple of years, anytime anybody said anything about MetaZoo, Mike or Andy was always on it. Like, I, how dare you? You know, don't, don't say that stuff. You know, go to ban you and very very defensive about the company but people have been saying stuff in the last like month two months you know like like there are some content creators who all promoted it and now they're like saying things but yet they're not they're not saying anything mike or andy they're not doing anything really not too much at least it seems like they they're not hardcore so that tells me they i guess they gave up or they just don't have anything to really go off of anymore i don't know so what happens now before i go anymore i'm sorry i'm filming in my car i just i live with other people and this is like the only place i really have to like have space plus my mind works better i'm in the car i can talk better i don't know it's just a weird thing um but yeah the sun is shining directly on me so it may get a little hot but yeah i guess i could have moved the car but whatever but anyways what happens now with metazoo i don't know um, obviously a lot of stuff, people are going to be dumping a lot of stuff on eBay, on Facebook Marketplace, eBay products are probably going to be a lot easier, or, uh, MetaZoo products are probably going to be a lot easier to get your hands on, especially harder stuff before, or more expensive stuff, and maybe going down way more now, and if you like MetaZoo and you want to collect and continue to collect, this is a, honestly, there's good and bad to everything, and right now, this is a good time for you. <laughs> Because that product may be going down. I mean, they're selling... Oh, my goodness. They're selling uh, Nightfall boxes for like $25, $35. Man. <laughs> so, that's crazy. Uh, so, if you don't have old scratch, maybe you can find them. So, what happens now? If you like MetaZoo, go on eBay and start buying stuff. Um, me, personally, I probably won't be buying much more... E uh, MetaZoo stuff. I may buy a few things here and there where I was like, man, I kind of wanted that, but I was like, I don't want to pay the $150, but now it's like $40, $30. I'm like, mm, maybe I might do that now. Because I still enjoy the game. I mean, well, I don't play the game, but I still enjoy the cards and like the idea behind it. So, I mean, yeah, you never know either. Maybe the stuff maybe will hit off in the future sometime. I, I have no idea. Um, I have a feeling, I believe there will always be a market for MetaZoo. Will it be hot like it was? No, probably not. Unless, for some reason, unless somebody comes in, buys the company, the IP, and then makes the cards and resells them, maybe. But will it be the original MetaZoo? No, no. So will the original MetaZoo products be worth more than the new stuff if somebody else buys it? Probably. Um, I don't know. I don't know. So I know there will always be people out there who want MetaZoo stuff. So, you know, once everything is being opened up, that's it. Like, there's no more. So um, if you can hold on to your sealed stuff, you buy a, a Nightfall box for $25. I mean, you could probably hold on to it. And maybe like five years from now, they're like, oh, you remember MetaZoo? Oh, yeah, I remember that. I want to get back into it. And then, you know, <laughs> you got some inventory. So maybe... It may take a minute, but you might be able to make some of your money back. Um, but yeah, they're not making any more stuff. It really sucks because Tops was pretty fun. I like watching other people open up that stuff. But 
me personally, I, I didn't I open up a few top stuff, but nothing crazy. But man, it is what it is. I hope the best for all the employees who unfortunately had to be let go because of this. Um, you know, I'm sorry that that it happened. Hopefully, you can find a new job, and you know you could be successful there at your new job. Um, for Mike and Andy, bro, come on now, man. Not only did you guys screw yourself out of a good job and a good company, it seemed well, you know a good idea for a company, but yeah, you kind of threw other people down too because if you can't run your business all your employees are gone as well so it kind of sucks for them i hope the best for you guys um me personally i probably will continue to make some metazoo videos but i mean i didn't really make much metazoo videos that much anyways but um i felt that i made a rant video so maybe i should do this closing video of metazoo now that they officially said that they're pretty much done I guess <laughs> so we'll, we'll see what happens um but i probably won't be making too many more meta zoo videos even though i really didn't make any anyways but any, anyways um i just wanted to make you know one more video because of the situation um another thing was kind of weird is that yesterday and it, it was it all happened all together and i don't know how to explain it but it was it was a weird coincidence that Literally yesterday, I had no idea that Minizu, that Mike sent out that letter. And then I went out to the area where here in Las Vegas where they, you know, where they ship out your products. And I wanted to go there and talk to somebody or at least see it, see what's going on. Maybe it's a real store. I have no idea. So I, I go out there, you know, it's like 2.15 and I'm like, okay, you know, because at first I thought I was like going to be late. Maybe they were closed for the day or something and I, there was not going to be anybody there. But now I was like, no, it's only 2.15 on a Monday. Surely somebody's there. You know, they got three months to ship out all this stuff that people have been pre-ordering and they still don't have it out. So, of course, somebody's going to be there. So, I get there and no one's there. And I'm like, all right. And it's not a very big area, it looked like. I mean, I didn't go inside, but it maybe it was big. I don't know. It, it seemed decent. Like, it was enough size that they could ship stuff out. Um, yeah, like a warehouse door in the back because I went in the back to see what it looks like. Um, so, it looks like a small... I don't call it warehouse, but like a small, decent size area where they can get products and ship them and ship them where they need to go. So it, it looked all right. But, um, but yeah, no one was there. And then make that short. And then I go home and I find out that MetaZoo was supposed to you know, close their doors. And I'm like, well, that makes sense why no one was there today. Um, they may be there today. Maybe it's just yesterday was just weird because of what happened. Maybe today they're there. Maybe maybe for this week they're not going to be there, and next week they will. I don't know. I'm probably not going to go back. Um, now, here's the thing. What happens now with those who bought things as pre-order but never received items? See, I bought the, um, like a lot of other people, I bought that, what do you call it, um, a streamer kit. And I think that was released back January or February last year, and it still has not been sent out. You know, that was $100. Uh, and I think I bought a couple of Legacy blisters as well. You know, where's that at? What's going to happen with that stuff? Any other pre-orders that people bought? What's going to happen with that stuff? I have no idea. Are we going to get... And that's probably why they took down the letter, because they're like, you're going to freak people out. People are going to start suing Let's reimburse our people. Let's reimburse everybody, and then we'll put up and announce like, "Hey, it's it's done." I don't know. So we'll see what happens, guys. Maybe because I'm, yeah, you know, I'm like a hundred and twenty dollars in on that stuff, like hundred and twenty, hundred thirty. So I want my reimbursement. I could use that money right now. <sighs> but we'll see what happens. Maybe they'll fulfill those, and then that's officially it. Who knows? Uh, for me personally, guys, whether you care or not, I mean, I'm, I'm just going to say it. Um, my sealed stuff, I'm just going to keep it sealed. I'm going to keep it with me. I'm not, I'm not going to sell it. I'm going to hold on to it. Who knows what's going to happen in the future? Um, one, I feel that if I go and sell some stuff, I'm going to lose so much money. Um, you know, because they were selling knife hole boxes for $25, $35. And I bought that at retail price. 
for what was it, 120 so i'll be missing out on a hundred dollars but if i hold on to it for maybe five years maybe it'll go up Maybe there'll be a surgeon for some reason, but I'll tell you what, if there comes a bubble in like five or 10 years over MetaZoo, you best believe I'm gonna ship, I'm gonna try and sell it then. But I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm gonna hold on to it. I've been, in, I, I probably invested maybe two grand max in MetaZoo in the last three years. So I didn't invest a heavily a lot, but I did put some money in it. So, if I hold on to the stuff and it just goes to zero, then I'm out two grand. But if I hold on to it, maybe it'll go up in price. Who knows what's going to happen? So I think the best solution here is just hold on to it and then maybe buy a few other like grilled things on eBay that now are easily attainable or more manageable to attain. Kickstarter stuff, um, you know, sample cards and stuff like that. Uh, maybe some special Mothmans, maybe some misprint stuff. I don't know. So I think those will probably be the best. Take a shot for every time I say I don't know. That'd be kind of cool. And tell me, do a count like how many I said I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's let's say just hold on and you know if you enjoy MetaZoo then go and buy buy buy. Because it it's about to come, you know, uh, unfortunately, you know, if you think about it, Nightfall had a little scratch. X probably still desirable, right? Uh, Kryptonation first and second edition had like red ink and blue ink. Those are still somewhat desirable. But Wilderness? You got those gold, bronze, and silver ticket cards. That are basically useless now. So wilderness may be dropping even more from thirty bucks to probably fifteen, because the chase cards in there are really is really nothing going on with it anymore. So I don't know what's gonna happen, guys. Sorry, got my neighbor behind me. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Is Metazoo really dead, or is it just dead for the second? But I, I, th I think it's I think it's official. I think it's, I think they're done. Um, maybe another company will come in, but I probably doubt it, guys. That's like that's it. Please like, subscribe, guys, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Uh, I'll be leaving in two days, so I probably won't make a video for a hot second. That's it, guys. See you later. Bye.